even though some people lose weight initially by just dieting, no one keeps it off just by dieting alone. I don't really like following, you know, by the book diets. It really doesn't work for me. I like trying the cabbage soup diet, the muffin diet, the coffee ice cream diet. Not a good one. <laughs> you have to count points and you have to make sure that you only eat this amount. Did I like over portion that serving or under portion that? I definitely do have an ideal size in my head. I've come to the realization that I don't think I'm ever going to get there unless I really, really, really work out. I try every fitness program. <laughs> It's very difficult to get yourself to the gym. But I find that when you have other like friends that are doing the same thing, it motivates you more. For health and fitness, I usually go, it's word of mouth from my friends. It's usually online because it's the easiest to get to. I tend to go to magazines. Magazines like Cosmo. Red Book and Oprah especially. Red Book really focuses on the easy, healthy, day-to-day -day lifestyle changes a woman can make that will result in not only a healthier self, but also weight loss. A lot of times people stumble because they're so angry at themselves that they can't even start the whole process. So, you know, our advice is very much about looking at the emotional angle. We really talk about changing their lifestyle, you know, changing the amount of times that they eat per day, changing the amount of exercise they get, how they work that into their daily activities, how they balance that with their job and their families and their kids. Country Living is a lifestyle magazine. Our recipes and our stories often focus on farm fresh, local foods, how to add flavor in ways that don't necessarily add a whole lot of extra fat. You need to look not only at what you eat, but why you eat what you eat. You need to be aware of if you're eating because of stress. We're constantly reminding the reader it's just about living your healthiest life and trying, you know, to find ways to incorporate health and fitness and better eating into your life. One of the things I'm proudest of is the health coverage I've brought to Cosmopolitan. I have two health columns that I started, Cosmo Gyno and Your Body. They are among the highest rated columns in the magazine. In fact, the health has been so important to us that we are now introducing a feature every month called the Cosmo Health Report. I think that if you're really serious about dropping a significant amount of weight, it's really about a lifestyle change. It's a huge, life-changing journey. 